Hi there, art historians. I want to give you a uh, sort of hint as you go to begin thinking about your written report number two. So this is a good one to watch early on in the pre planning process. So you can read about written report two. It's going to be very similar to written report number one, which you will have turned in already. Um, you should get feedback from me on your first written report, and you'll be able to take those edits and put them into your second report. So the paragraph order is also going to be fairly similar, but I want to talk to you about, I want to ha I, I have a note for you essentially. Um, notice that I say first paragraph, second paragraph, S, right? It might be more than one. So the organization is basically the same. You're going to start by identifying the style, then talk about physical properties, visual structure, etc., etc. The big change is in this report, instead of talking about just one artwork, you're going to expand that. You're going to show me five examples of artworks from this time period and culture. Um, so five artworks that are from the same style or the same culture, time period, location. Remember my note about those being kind of interchangeable for this for for this class. So um, the the issue is you're going to be looking for five different artworks that are all all have enough in common that you're going to be able to talk about these. So I don't want to give you an example of something you're actually going to write about. So what I did here is I searched for Japanese woodblock prints. We won't spend any time on these in this class, but I did a quick Google search just so I could show you a bunch of images. You may not be able to do a quick Google search. You may have to go find some different artworks. But when you're choosing your artworks, think about how you're going to, to talk about them in your report. I have a bunch of, of drawing or prints here that are all made with the same materials. They're all, uh, I have, uh, they're all prints. They're all, many of them in, are, are, are in color. Um, I could then further choose only the ones with a landscape view. And I'm talking about form here. I don't mean literally a landscape, but the, the, the shape is wide versus tall. Um, and then I could also decide that I only want to focus on ones that have no no large people as the subject so that or or that do have large people as the subject so i could maybe pick i'm going to talk about this one this one this one's got people three maybe i want this one down here and this one and so when i choose those uh different artworks i can think about excuse me what i'm going to talk about so they don't have to be all the same for example if i was going to talk about those ones i just identified I might, in my first paragraph, talk about um, the style. These are Japanese uh, woodblock prints. In my second paragraph, I'm going to say, these woodblock prints tend to have the same physical properties. They are all made with woodblock ink, right? Um, they, some of them are vertical in the landscape orientation, and some of them are horizontal. So you can have some variation that way. Um, you do not need to describe every physical property for every work, but you can talk about things that they have in common. If you've got a couple, you know, some are like this, some are like this, you can give us a couple of examples. If this section gets long, go ahead and split it into more than one paragraph, but those paragraphs should be grouped together. Then when you move on to the third paragraph, visual structure, we're again looking for similarities. So if we tend to see monochromatic color scheme, say, like these ones, we don't have a lot of other colors, or maybe we see scale is really important and the landscape or the waves are really big and the people or the houses are really small. I know I'm talking about different ones, but um, then you can, you can identify those sorts of things. If I go back to the ones I was originally talking about, I can talk about how we see the illusion of depth portrayed because of overlapping and because of diminishing scale. The farther away people or things are smaller, the smaller things look farther away. Um, I can also uh, start to talk about how the ground is depicted. So these ones, these two here have a very similar um, lines on the floor that show us the, the, where the, how the floor recedes back in space. Um, this one doesn't have quite that same thing going on. That's okay. I don't have to address everything in every artwork. So my visual structure paragraph might talk about scale for everybody and then talk about the lines of the floor for these two and then maybe talk about color for most of these. 
right? So again, that you can have more than one paragraph for each of these, but you're going to go through and you're looking for similarities. And what we're really trying to do is identify the sorts of things that help us identify the style. How do we recognize that these are Japanese woodblock prints? Hopefully the things I'm describing don't apply to every other artwork. Let's get rid of Japanese and just look at prints. I don't know what we're going to get. So here suddenly, wow, scale changed. This one doesn't, uh, it wouldn't work if I had described it the same way. This, this artwork looks very different than this one up here. And so hopefully my description of Japanese woodblock prints applies here, does not apply here. And if that's not the case, you need to be a little bit more specific. You're going to apply the same sort of thing to subject, con subject conventional symbolism, iconography. How do we recognize the subjects and how do we recognize that the subjects are from that time period style? Um, and then your last group of paragraphs, it might be one, it might be more than one, is cultural context. And how were these things used? You know, tell us about the culture in which they were used, how they were viewed, how they were appreciated, that sort of thing. If you've got questions, make sure you're asking me, and make sure you're asking me early on um, so I can try to get you help before you get too far into things. Thanks.